for our Binance traders, um, you are able to do your API binding on um, from the app, okay? Unfortunately, with Huobi, you have to log into um, the web browser, okay? It does not allow you to do the API binding um, from the app itself. So you do have to be logged in via a web browser. So let's start with our Binance, okay? Now, remember, so in the last session, um, we spoke about the fact that you can have two trading accounts linked to one robot at the same time. So I'm going to log in to my app and then of course I go to API binding. Now, what is API binding guys? It's just an application that allows basically two apps to speak to one another. So this is us giving permission to Royal Q that yes, they can trade, they can execute trades in our finance or they can execute trades in our Huobi. Now, if you are doing this for the first time, um, these two are going to be great, okay? So I'm going to start with Finance and I will say replace so that we have a clear screen. Now, there are three things that we are going to take note of, yeah? The first one, it's these numbers. Né? This is what we call um, AMA IP addresses. So this is just a way that Royal Q ensures that the only Royal Q app that is trading your account with the API that we will be, we will be creating is the original one. Now understand that in the digital space, guys, we are always going to have AMA counterfeits. We're always going to have fake apps and all these things coming up. So these numbers, we copy them and we have to paste them in Binance because it's to tell Binance that the only Royal Pool app that will ever trade via this API is the original one. Okay, so that's the first thing you must note. You copy these numbers to Binance or to OB. The second thing that we need to then do is to retrieve the API key from Binance and to retrieve the secret key from Binance, okay? Right, so let's do this practically. So I am going to clear the screen and then I will just go to Binance first. Now in your Binance app, please make sure that you are not on the light version. So how do you know that you are on the light version? If your screen does not look like mine, it means you are on Binance Lite. How do you correct that? When you go into your app, you must go to your profile. Okay, that little head, né? that is your profile. You click on that head and then you must basically switch this off. This must be switched off. The second thing you must confirm with Binance is that you are intermediate verified. Now, remember before we could do API binding with, with only the first level of your verification. Now you need the second level of verification. It's a finance requirement for security issues. If you are not seeing intermediates verified on your finance, just click here and then it will prompt you to then submit your ID or your, your, your passport and so forth. So you must be intermediate verified to be able to do API. Now let's go and get this done here. So, when you come back to the home page, this is where you go to more, right? You click on more and then you are going to scroll down and there you have it, API management. Now I am going to create my Royal Q API. So let's just wait for it. Right, now this is where I need to enter the name Royal Q, right? Now I already have one. So I'm just going to say Royal Q, okay? And I'm just going to add training because I'm doing this for training purposes, right? And then I say create API. Now it's standard procedure um, with any cryptocurrency exchange platform 
that you are always going to need to verify every transaction that you are doing, especially if it poses a security issue. So in my case, I need to click get code so that it sends me a code to my cell phone and I need to click get code so that it sends me a code to my email. Now I'm going to go to my email first and then retrieve the code. So this is like an OTP sort of thing. The same way if you were doing internet banking, they will send you um, an OTP, so a one-time pin, right? So there's the email. You've created a new API. And I wait, my email is slow. Right, and there it is, I copy. So I'm gonna copy this verification code. And I am going to paste it. Yeah, right. And then I need to go and retrieve the one I have received via SMS. Remember not to make the mistake, guys, of closing anything. You must just slide out of these apps. <laughs> Otherwise, it will force you to restart. And then I copy that. And I maneuver back to... Right, now you see the submit button is yellow. So it will now tell me API creator. There it is, ne? Royal Q training. Okay, now the first thing you must do before anything, you see this little V, this little V, ne? I click on that so that it opens up all the information that I need, right? Now you have two options here, guys. It's either you can copy, okay? Copy your secret key and copy your API key. The most important thing that you need to copy first is this, your secret key. But I'm going to show you the easy way, which is just to take a screenshot. Take a screenshot of the barcode, right? Because we can never lose a screenshot. So I'm gonna take a screenshot of this barcode and once I have done that, it's already saved to my gallery, right? Now I'm going to go back to Royal Q. And do you see this little icon né, in the corner? This is how I then connect to the barcode that I have scanned. I'm just going to say only this time. And then there in your top right, I'm going to request access to my photo album. So I go to photo album and that is where I will find my screenshot and there it is. So I just select the screenshot and look what happens. It's like magic, boom, my API key is entered, my secret key is entered. So if you're using Binance, please advise your new members to just take a screenshot and then to come here to select the image from their gallery. It's gonna make their life so much easier because this thing, your secret key, it disappears. Yeah. Now that I've done that, I'm going to copy these IP addresses, okay? And then I go back to Binance. I'm going to scroll down. And here I say, I want to click, oh, sorry, before that I must say edit because I can't select anything until I've said edit, perfect. And then I want to select who restricts access to trusted IPs. And then I am going to paste the numbers here. And then I say confirm, done. Now I need to give Binance permission. Number one, to enable spots, to enable reading, that's done. And then to enable trading. So I need to manually select this option because it is not automatically selected, right? Then I say save because I now want to save my API. Once again, I need to confirm via the code that will be sent to me. Okay, I think that's an old code. Let's wait for the new one. Right, there's the new one. And guys, I know this looks like a long process, but you are only going to do this once and that's it. Okay, and unfortunately, it is something that you have to get done because 
we are in the digital space now. So you have to, <laughs> I guess, get used to these processes. Boom, it's done, okay? So my API is now saved. So now I need to go back to Royal Q and complete the process, okay? Boom. And complete the process. So the only thing that is left for me to now do here is to send myself the verification code coming from Royal Q. So I go to my email to retrieve my verification code from Royal Q. Let's refresh. And there is the verification code. I copy that. And then I come and I paste it here. I accept the T's and C's and then I say find. And we are done, guys. Okay, so this is recorded. You can replay this. Ne? Now let's do Huobi. Now Huobi, I'm going to have to.